Hello and welcome to another month of the Single Cast Club. Um, I'm Guy, I'm here at the Strong Workout, 78 High Street, Bankery, Scotland. So hello to our new members and howdy to all our existing guys and girls already. Um, so this month, a um, couple of cool drams, not, not, not anything smoky, not something nice and light, a bit kind of easier going this month. So the first dram we're going to go for this month is this, uh, another one of old Goonsies because he's absolutely flying and everyone's loving it so we'll stick with it um so this is a dalyon from old goonsies this is up in Speyside. kind of sits in the shadow of ben rinnis um we've had a few of these kind of well before christmas i think we had a red cask one um so yeah long fermentation really rapid distillation um with a stainless steel condenser to reduce the copper contact so we want something the kind of base of this spirit is to produce something really big and heavy. It's kind of a Diageo big blending kind of monster. So that's why big heavy spirit really benefits from that because you get much more kind of um, weight through the spirit and then kind of into sherry casts and bombs like that, which is does very well. So um, this particular dram, um, single cast, cast strength from Old Goonsies, distilled 26th of August um, 2013 and bottled on the 6th of February 2023 at a natural cast strength of 57.8%. Total number of 309 bottles of this um, on the outrun of that, and that was in a, re a second film, Oloroso Hogshead, bottled at a nine-year-old. So, have a taste and see what you think. So on the nose, I think straight away is really classic, kind of dying, buttery, kind of big, meaty, Kind of classic saurine malt loaf, um, like Balmoral bread, that brown, it's almost like a all grain kind of granary bread, I think. But then at the same time, you've also got lots of lovely kind of lemony, citrus, kind of classic barley notes as well, obviously. And on the palate, cheers. Super malty to start off with, 57.8%, but hides that well. I think that malt, kind of almost like stewed ginger style. Mmm. Mmm. Big malty, stewed ginger. Lots of kind of citrus in there as well. The finish goes straight on to kind of spice dried fruits kind of almost sweet tea style and then a real kind of yeah candied apple style finish on the end of it there as well so that's our first dram and this has got a shelf price of 49 quid i think or something like that so absolute banger for what it is plus a discount um absolute bargain so yeah that's dram number one we get it for dram two so dram number one done Tram number two from some other of our favourites. Um, Karen Morris, the independently owned Bottlers by the Morrison family. This is a Glen Lossie. So Glen Lossie is up in space as well. Um, sits on the same site as uh, Manic Moore, which is kind of quite an interesting um, fact. Um, it's got purifier pipes, um, um, which carry kind of the heavier alcohols, um, which have refluxed back out the line arm, back into the body of the still to try and... Um, redistill them to get increased kind of oiliness in it again it's a big just a big kind of um blending production kind of house but independently bottled or when you see it in malts i think it's super interesting um the base spirit really lends itself for interesting um cast finishes or full maturation like this um so with that kind of big oiliness it's then got a greater kind of texture to it um and there's kind of a few other bits that they do with like a longer fermentation to try and add on all these little bits for weight and texture and oiliness. Um, so this one here, this is a Glen Lossie. This is a 2013 Glen Lossie. So this has been um, matured in um, a red wine break. So this is interesting with the strictly limited range. This is actually single cast, cast strength. So distilled in 2013, bottled in 2023, with an outrun in 243 bottles, a natural cast strength of 58.7% and bottled as a 10-year-old. 
So, first of all, I think the colour on it is absolutely lovely. Um, and then, on the nose, I think this is, trying this earlier, I think this is just like dates and figs. It's got black currants. And then it's almost got this like treacle spongy note to it as well. That kind of, almost like caramelised sugar, sponge sugar, treacly note. The palette, cheers. Super creamy and full, really big mouth coating kind of affect it straight away. And then it's kind of ripe red fruits. It's apricots, it's almonds. It's kind of shortbread, butter shortbread kind of style as well. Going to have another crack. Mm. Lovely and full in the mouth that. Um, yeah, where are we going? Shortbread, butter shortbread. To kind of berries, comes more kind of demerara sugar, almost creme brulee with that real big thick coating um, kind of sweetness to it. It's just, yeah, I think a very soft, easy going, especially at 58.7%, I think um, super drinkable as it is. With a, drops, a couple of drops of water in it, opens up a bit more, but for me, I think that's gonna bang on as it is. And again, um, that's on the shelf at, can't find it there, 72.50. Um, and then with the discount on top, if you wish to have one of them as well. Um, so that's the two drams for this month. Um, keep your eyes on your inboxes as ever for a couple of allocation stuff coming in. Um, you guys will always be the first to know about it. Um, so I hope you enjoy them and we shall see you next month. Bye-bye, slatch.